The safe and sound compact's narrow design is perfect for growing families who need to accommodate three children across the back seat. Its compact rear-facing install depth allows for fitment in small cars where the front seats are in close proximity to the back. The compact is a convertible car seat which means that it can be first used rear-facing with a newborn baby and then converted to a forward-facing seat for a child up to an approximate four years of age. Inside the seat you will find two shoulder height markers. The lower shoulder height marker will prompt you to discontinue using rear-facing and turn your child forward-facing. This marker represents an approximate 12 month old child. The second upper shoulder height marker represents an approximate 4 year old child and indicates when your child has outgrown the compact. At this stage your child should move into a convertible booster or booster seat. The compact features a hassle free harness. When you adjust the height of the headrest the harness automatically adjusts. Before installing in your car check for correct fitment of your child in the harness. The shoulder straps must be positioned on or above your child's shoulders. Make sure the harness is no more than 2.5 cm above. To adjust the headrest, pull on the latch on the back of the seat and move up or down to the desired position. Inside the seat you will notice a baby insert. This can be used rear facing for smaller babies to provide further support and comfort. You can use this until their shoulders reach the lower height marker. For further installation advice, please read your instruction manual or watch our compact rear and forward facing videos. Before installing, convert your seat into rear facing position. Pull the latch found under the front of the seat to recline. Then pull the rear facing release at the back of the seat. Your seat is now fully reclined. Lift the flap at the front of the seat to expose the stabilizing bar. Pull out and gently push back towards the seat until you hear a click. This will mean it has locked in place. Undo the harness and remove the insert. Pull back the trim to expose the seatbelt path. Position on the vehicle seat and feed the seatbelt through this seatbelt path. Engage the seatbelt buckle, tighten and reattach the trim. Extend your tether by pushing on the adjuster button to lengthen. Hook your tether attachment clip to the vehicle anchor point. Make sure there are no twists in the strap. Tighten the adjustable strap to remove the slack. It is important not to over tighten or the base will lift off the seat. Vehicle seats may differ in slope and indentation. Please check your instruction manual for further advice if the angle of your restraint exceeds 15 degrees. If your vehicle seat is preventing you from having a tight installation, use a 3 bar gated slide to ensure there is minimal movement. Please refer to your instructions for further installation advice. Once you have used the compact rear facing and your child's shoulders have reached the lower height marker, convert the seat to forward facing. Begin by storing the stabilizing bar. Press the button found under the left side of the seat. Gently push the bar back and then down into the storage area. Reattach the cover. Convert the seat to forward facing by pulling the recline latch at the back and lifting the seat forward. There are three recline positions, including upright. Squeeze the recline latch found at the front of the seat and push back or forward to adjust. Position the compact on the vehicle seat. Fully lengthen the seat belt and follow the seat belt path. Ensure that the seat belt is behind the harness straps and that the lap part of the seat belt is below the hooks. Engage the buckle. Pull the sash to remove slack. By placing weight on the seat you will maintain tension. Feed the sash portion of the seat belt into the lock off and pull upwards to remove any further slack. Test the seat to ensure a firm installation. Hook your tether attachment clip to the vehicle anchor point. Make sure there are no twists in the strap. It is important not to over tighten or the base will lift off the seat. Please refer to your instructions for further installation advice.